Water vapor transmission rate is a property very important to packaging in many industries. Many packaged products are moisture sensitive and so controlling the water vapor into or out of the package is crucial to retaining the quality of the product until opened by the customer. All materials permeate. The question is, to what degree? How much water vapor either into or out of the package over a given length of time will be optimal for the product? Permeation occurs in a three-step process. Step 1. The gas or vapor, also called the permeant, is absorbed into the polymer surface. Step 2. The permeant diffuses through the polymer. Step 3. The permeant desorbs or outgasses from the opposite side of the polymer. Because permeant molecules are free to move in all directions within the material, the net flow of gas is determined by the partial pressure or concentration of the permeant on both sides of the film. This is called the driving force. Factors such as temperature and relative humidity can drastically affect the permeation rate. In order to get accurate permeation results, it is very important to control temperature, relative humidity, and driving force throughout the test. This is Mocon's newest WVTR test cell instrument. The two cells, which operate independently, enable you to test in duplicate. Each cell receives water vapor from the relative humidity well. During testing, an RH probe automatically ensures the specified percentage of water vapor is supplied to the cell. The instrument operates as follows. The test sample divides the cell into two chambers, one with the water vapor at a constant RH and the other with a nitrogen carrier gas. The available range of RH is fully saturated 100% or controlled between 35 and 90%. As soon as the water vapor molecules permeate through the film, they are picked up by the nitrogen carrier stream and taken to the detector. The flow rate of the nitrogen stream keeps the carrier side of the film at virtually 0% RH, thus maintaining a constant driving force throughout the test. A pulse modulated infrared detector is used to measure the amount of water vapor in the nitrogen carrier stream. The WVTR is automatically calculated using the amount of moisture in the stream, the carrier gas flow rate, and the area of the film sample being tested. The water vapor permeability can also be calculated using the additional inputs of driving force and sample thickness.